guys welcome back to my channel so i've had such a guilty pleasure shopping online for high-end products and one of the best stores here in canada to do that on is sephora so lately i've just been getting my fix with skincare and some beauty items and i figured that i would share it with you guys today So the first thing that I want to share with you guys is a skincare set by Peter Thomas Roth. If you don't know what brand that is, it's a skincare brand that's very popular amongst the beauty community. I've seen various um, beauty influencers and bloggers talk or share um, their thoughts about these products, specifically the ones that I have. I had bought a set from Sephora called the Black and Gold Kit. It specifically is geared for fine lines and wrinkles and things like that. So it comes with a 24 karat gold mask. This one is supposed to be an anti-aging treatment with pure 24 karat gold and collodial or collodial. I'm pretty sure it's collodial gold to help lift and firm. It helps lift and firm the skin. It also gives you a glow. It re-energizes the look of skin. It has caffeine to tighten the skin and also brightens, smooths, and refreshes. It's very repetitive on the description of the front, but you guys get the idea. Um, I have been using it. It's really nice. I don't really see the tightening effects, but I definitely do see the brightening effects in my skin lately. With the 24 karat gold, they give you a 24 karat gold prism cream. So basically what this is, it's like a highlighter, a liquid highlighter. You can use it under your makeup or just day to day. So it's basically to enhance luminosity and boost radiance with um, diffusers that scatter light and helps to diminish the appearance of skin imperfections um, and provides a glow. So it has three shades sensing spears that are combined to provide a full spectrum of radiance and self-adjusting to complement every skin tone. So basically it is a self-adjusting um, highlighter. I will show you guys a swatch of it on my skin. What I find is that it doesn't like, it's not as pigmented or as bright as my Melanie Mills one. Melanie Mills um, creams are, but as you guys can see, it's going to adjust in a bit. It gives you a nice glow though, I do have to admit that. As you guys can see, it's already adjusting. The other mud mask I did get was the Irish Moore mud mask and I'm so happy that I have this because I've been lusting over this mud mask for like a year and a half before um, these jars of um, skincare have been like widely popular. I was like really intrigued by it because hello, I've never seen anything like this and it smells disgusting but that means that it's gonna work. So what this is, it's a purifying, decongesting, and hydrating mask with odorless Irish Moor mud to draw out dirt, oil, and impurities. It helps minimize the look of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles, leaving skin looking pure, fresh, hydrated, and radiant. Now, this does what it's supposed to do. It's not a dramatic change right away, but over time, you start to see that your skin is improving. Now I find that when I include the cleanser, which is the Irish Moore Mud Purifying Cleanser, this has volcanic ash, hajiki seaweed, the Irish Moore Mud, and lactic acid, salicylic acid, tree, tea tree oil, and willow bark. This is for all skin tones, so it's great to use on my little twins as well. And I'm telling you, we just all have really nice skin. So this and this are bomb. Next two items I have again are skincare and they're from the same family. So like I said with the mud mask, I've been really going ham on the mask and everything. And I just wanted to re-up on something that I truly do love and works for me and my mom as well, which is the Glam Glow. I purchased just a small one because I felt that I didn't need such a big one because I have so many other masks now that I would kind of just go in with this like once or twice a month. So again, this is the Youth Mud Ting Exfoliate. This one helps draw out any oils or any 
disgusting stuff that's in your face it's really cool to see if you haven't tried it um i do say that it stings a lot your first try so if you have sensitive skin this one may not be the one for you but there are other ones in the lineup that you can definitely ask to get a sample and try out but again if you don't have sensitive skin i would definitely recommend this now the other glam glow item has been something that has been widely popular ever since one significant youtuber had um shown this product on his channel so one the glam glow gravity mud sonic edition this is the same thing as the silver one but blue um i lost i lost it i decided that i was going to redeem some of my gift cards to get it i got it in the huge jar it also came with a spatula brush but you guys oh my goodness it is so cool to peel off of your face i think it's a little gimmicky but to me, it smells like sweet blueberries. The next item that I picked up was a perfume set. This is the Elizabeth James Nirvana Collection. So we have four scents. We have black, we have bourbon, we have white, and we also have rose. Um, again, this came out during the Christmas collection or the holiday season. And I still think that it's still on the website. So if you're interested in trying out some of the scents, I would while you can while it's still 30 or 40 dollars for this set um the reason why i got this is because i'm pretty much in love with all of the shades but rose but i don't want to pay 80 dollars for a bottle so i just figured that because i have so many perfumes already why not buy just a smaller set and that way when i'm going out and i want to smell like any of the black bourbon or white then I can basically just put them in rotation for whenever I go out. So the next thing I did pick up was a Ciate mini nail polish. And this is from the Geology or Gelology series. I don't know if that means that I have to cure it or not. I'll definitely check online. This is the shade Amazing Gracie, which is a pale pink. And I just like it because I think that it's an everyday color and it's pretty suitable for every skin tone and shade as well. So I say the best for last or the newest thing for last, which is a shade that Becca just released. This is Prismatic Amethyst. This is supposed to be their new limited edition lavender shade. It comes in limited edition packaging, which is this really pretty um, metallic lilac shade, as you guys can see. It's so pretty. I'm so excited for this. Let's just drop that out. Hopefully you guys can see the shade. I'm not gonna swatch it right now because I still have to do product photos and everything, but I just wanted you guys to see that I got it. It came out yesterday and it's already at my doorstep today. So thank you, Sephora. You guys are clutch. You guys came in for the win with that one day shipping. All right, guys, so I hope that you enjoyed my luxury Sephora haul. If you did, please thumbs it up. Please share it with your friends and family. If you are not a member of my channel, please hit that subscribe button for more videos weekly. I will see you all later in another video. Bye.